All right, Gigolos, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and delete directories. And it's pretty straightforward, but there are a couple weird things I have to look out for. So let's just go ahead and look at my desktop right now. I got, what is it, seven directories. But I actually want to make a new folder called Bacon so I can store all of my awesome pictures about bacon. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. And in order to make a new directory, just write MK. DIR stands for make directory and then write whatever the name of the folder you want to be. So I want to make a new directory called bacon and boom, look at that. So now if I do DIR, we got a new directory called bacon. And if I show you, we now have this directory that popped up right there. Now, if I ever want to delete a directory, then what I do is RM DIR. This means remove directory, and I'm just gonna remove bacon. So now if I write DIR, you see that that deleted the bacon directory. So pretty straightforward so far, but here is the tricky thing I was talking about. So let's go ahead and make the bacon directory again. We now got a directory called bacon. Now let's go ahead and move into it. So let me clear the screen, and we can see that right now, there's nothing inside bacon. So let's just go ahead and make a couple more directories um, inside bacon. So I'll just say test one and test two. So test one, actually if I write up, test two, check it out. All right, so now bacon has two directories inside it, test one and test two. And again, there aren't any files or anything inside here, but not important. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop. That's where I'm at right now. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try to delete that bacon directory. So RM DIR bacon. And it says, hmm, actually we didn't delete that. And if you look right here, it didn't delete bacon. And it gives you a little indicator. It says the directory is not empty. So one thing that you have to look out for is this RM DIR command. This is only going to delete a directory if there's nothing inside it. Well, what if there is stuff inside it and we just want to delete everything inside it as well? Well, what we need to do in that instance is after the RMDIR keyword, you have to write forward slash S. So what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to delete the folder bacon just like before, but it's also going to go through and delete all of the contents of it as well. So again, that's forward slash S and look what happens whenever I run this. And by the way, another cool thing, actually I'll talk to you guys about it later. So let me go ahead, hit enter. Are you sure you want to delete it? And it asks you this because there is stuff inside it. So I'm just gonna hit capital Y, enter. And we can see that it's gone right there. And if we write DIR, no more bacon. So clear screen. And what I was gonna say is this. So you see that I have some big long command. I mean, it's, it really isn't that long, but I just wanna pull up some command for demo. If you ever wanna to go to the beginning of this line right here, then what you can do is you can hit left a bunch of times, or what you can do is on your keyboard, you can actually just hit home. So whenever you hit home, it's gonna bring you to the beginning of that command. So that way, if you wanna you know, add some text there, it's faster. Also, if you hit end, then that brings you to the end of your line. So home and end is a quick way to jump to the beginning and to the end. Now, another thing that's kind of useful is if you hold down control and hit left, then this is gonna hop you one word at a time. So again, just the left arrow is gonna move one character at a time. Your cursor holding down control is gonna bump you one word at a time. So those are some helpful uh, tips or tricks to move around your command line a little bit more efficiently. But anyways, that is how you create and remove directories. And also when you have a directory with stuff inside it, make sure to use the slash S to delete all the contents of your directory as well. Thank you for watching. I will smell you next time.